Figured it out. Figured out what? Well, let's see if this rings a bell. Father of the future, inventor extraordinaire, keep moving forward. That's not me. That's Wilbur's dad. Are you saying that I'm Wilbur's dad? Oh, give the boy a prize. You grew up to be the founder of this wretched time. So I plan to destroy your destiny. Easy peasy, rice and cheesy. Ooh. So if I'm Wilbur's dad... Keep going. Uh, if I'm Wilbur's dad... Yes, thank you. We've established that. Uh, but what does that have to do with you? Ha <laughs> ha! Allow me to shed some light on the subject. <gasps> My old room. I think you mean our old room. What? Uh, yes, yes, it is I, Mike Yagubian! I know, I'm disgusting, but one learns to love it. How'd you end up like this? Well, it's a long and pitiful story about a young boy with a dream. A dream of winning a Little League championship. A dream that was ruined in the last inning. We lost by one run because of me. If I hadn't fallen asleep, I would have caught the ball, and we would have won. Do you understand? For some reason, no one wanted to adopt me. Whiz kid Cornelius Robinson graduates from college at age 14. This year's Nobel Prize goes to a young <coughs> Cornelius Robinson. Hey, Goop, what's up? Cool binder. Hey, Goop, want to come over to my house today? They all hated me. Eventually, they closed down the orphanage, and everyone left except me. Cornelius Robinson rebuilds and bent. Robinson, new name. Cornelius Robinson. Robinson. Cornelius 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 Robinson. It was then that I realized it wasn't my fault. It was yours. If you hadn't kept me up all night working on your stupid project, then I wouldn't have missed the catch. So I devised a brilliant plan to get my revenge. Then, just as I was on the brink of destroying Robinson Industries, I met her. We retreated to our villainous lair, where Doris spun a tale of deception and woe. 